There's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. A hollow stirring up from the depths of my soul. So excuse me if I seem a little giddy. It is a good thing to give thanks unto our God. It is a good thing to sing praises unto our King. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. I give God all the praises for he is good and his mercy endure to all generations. Amen. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in a new hour for a new anointing ministry broadcast. Amen. With yours truly airing every Sunday morning on Comcast 20 Cable, Detroit, Michigan at 10 a.m. Amen. Also, you can catch us on demand at bgntvgospel.com. Amen. That's the Lord for our elder Elder Antoine Quiboy Bell and his sister, lovely wife, Sister Yolanda Bell, amen, who are CEOs, amen, of this ministry. I bless them on today for this production, amen, and for you that, amen, that want to take your ministry to media, Elder will be at the end of the broadcast, and I'll need you, I want you, amen, to call him. Amen. That you can reach a demographic. Amen. That you m will not be able to reach in, this, in those walls. Amen. I need you to come and call the man and woman of God. Amen. You may have music video. Amen. That you've been trying to get out. Amen. But you just hadn't connected with the right person. Amen. This is the right place to be. BGN TV. Amen. Bell Global Network TV. This is the right place to be. Amen. Give them a call. Amen. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Again, if you have a ministry, amen, that you want to take to the media, a people, amen, that you're not able to reach inside the walls of the house of God, or maybe not even in your community, amen, but you can reach them through the network. You can reach them through TV. You can reach them through the internet. Amen. Do not hesitate to call. Amen. Also, amen, the Lord has blessed us to be a part of the Marriage Singles Enrichment Conference host pastor, Apostle Cedric Banks, on Saturday, December the 21st, 2013 at 6 p.m. Amen. The address is 8031 Tireman in Detroit, Michigan. The topic include how to spot a decoy, meaning how do you know that that's not the right one? He may look, look like the right one, he may smell like the right one, or he may say things like the right one. But how do you, how to spot a decoy? Amen. Another topic is, is it love at first sight? Another topic is how to hold it together throughout a lifetime. Amen. These will be great speakers. I'll be part one of the speakers of the panel. Amen. Also that you can ask questions. And by the way, the Holy Ghost will give you answers. Great food, which is free. Great fun. Great preaching. Great fellowship. Come and be blessed. Amen. The host pastor, Apostle Cedric Banks, amen. I'm going to try to get him on the broadcast before this event takes place. December the 21st, 2013 at 6 p.m. 8031 Tireman, Detroit, Michigan. Marriage Single Enrichment Conference. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I've, I've talked to some on the phone. Some has wrote me letters. But some I've never met face to face. Amen. Come out and be a part of this. It's free of no charge. Amen. Come out. Amen. And be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And even to those that has given their life to Jesus Christ. Amen. You want to know more about who Christ is? This pamphlet called, What Do We Know About Jesus? Amen. Text me your address or write me. My address will be at the end of the broadcast. My phone number will be at the end of the broadcast. Amen. Write me. Amen. I will send these to you free of no charge. The Holy Spirit, our loving friend. Amen. Jesus said it expedient 
amen, is important. I must go now that I may send you another comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. In this case, the Holy Spirit. He's your friend. Amen. He'll guide you. He'll lead you. He will direct you into all truth. Amen. Amen. Some of you may have lost some lo a loved one. Or you may have had a bad breakup in your marriage or a bad breakup in your fellowship or family. But Jesus said this. I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Amen. This book is to comfort you, to encourage you by the way of the Holy Ghost, that you're never alone, never forsaken. Amen. You may have crisis in your life, hard times, hard. You may uh, have afflictions or sickness or hardship has taken place in your life. Amen. God of the crisis. Hallelujah. Amen. God is above all. The principality, power, dominion, and might. There's nothing too hard for God. God of the crisis. Amen. Amen. And for those that have been saved, I have people to say to me, Amen. They're saved. They're giving their life to God. But some things that they're not sure about, Amen. Write me. I'll send you this. Save for certain. Free of no charge. Amen. If you hadn't caught all the information, you can go to BGN TV Gospel. This broadcast and you'll get the information that is needed. Amen. I'm just so excited what God is doing in my life. I'm excited for his goodness. I'm excited for his mercy. I'm excited for his grace. Amen. Father, I just come before you in Jesus name and I give you thanks and I give you praises. For thy honor and thy glory. I love you today. And Lord I'm asking that you will fill my mouth today. That you may speak to your people. Heal, deliver and make free. Undo the burdens that's in their lives. Let them know that your yoke is easy. And your burdens are light. Let them know God that you will never leave them. Nor forsake them. In the name of Jesus. Oh God move in their homes. Move in their marriages. I pray the grace of God will be in their lives. I pray, God, to them that are watching today that know not you in the pardon of their sins, oh God. I pray today in Jesus' name that they will repent and turn away from their sins and you become their God and they become your people. That you are creating them a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within them on today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to thank God for you, you and you today. Amen. I just want to talk to you and let you know that all is well. Amen. Just put your trust in God. Believe in God. Put your hope in Him. And God will work it out for you. Amen. Some people are going through a season of crying and, and, and being misunderstood. Amen. And not being bothered. They, people don't want to be bothered with you. Amen. Some people has lost their jobs. Or you may have a job and not making the, the sufficient amount of money that is needed to make sure your bills are paid or enough food on the table. Amen. But I want to say to you, help is on the way. I want to let you know that God cares and God sees your pain. And God has the God is the remedy. God is the prescription of whatever you're going through in life. Amen. There is hope. I want you all to call me. I'll pray with you. Whatever you're going through, there is hope. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. All I can do is direct you to God. I can do what someone did to me, for me. They directed me to Jesus Christ. And they let me know, amen, that Whatever troubles or whatever pain or whatever disappointments or whatever things that come in life. Amen. Jesus Christ will give you peace in the midst of it until he bring you out. And that's what he wants you to uh, experience today. No matter what is taking place in your mind. If you're not having peace in your mind or you're just dealing with situations and your mind has been a battlefield to the enemy and the devil telling you to kill yourself or the devil saying to you, what's the use? Your mind is speaking these things. Renew the spirit of your mind. Get on your knees and pray. Get you a Bible. Start reading the word of God. 
Amen. The word of God are renewed. The word of God is like a, 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 a cleanser. The word of God will cleanse you. The word of God will purify you and sanctify you. Amen. You give me a call. And I, I, I need to let you know that Jesus Christ is your only hope. Jesus Christ is your only answer in this world today. Amen. I don't do no one is exempt from trouble. No one is exempt from pain. No one is exempt from uh domestic domestic abuse or marriage or, or trouble in your marriage or trouble in your home or not having enough money. And most of us as human beings on this earth have experienced one or the other. But I'm here to tell you today. That Jesus Christ is your only answer. He is the hope of glory. Jesus Christ is your peace. And, and Jesus Christ is here. Amen. To make you free. Amen. All you got to do is ask him to come into your life. Amen. And maybe you have asked him. And maybe you have fallen off somewhere. Hey. But God said to repent. He will forgive you. The children of Israel, they were God's people and, and they became rebellious. Amen. Most of y'all know the story that the children of Israel, amen, they were under the authority of the bondage of, of Pharaoh, the, the taskmaster. Amen. And they were slaves for 400 years in Egypt. Amen. And God raised up a man by the name of Moses. Amen. God, they, and the Bible said God heard their cry by reason of bondage. These men were under bondage. These women, these boys, these girls, the children, they were all under bondage at the hand of the Egyptians. Amen. They were making clay, uh, mortar. They were making bricks out of st uh, straw. Amen. But God led them out because God loved them. And there's nothing that you're in that God will not lead you out of. If you hear my voice today, if you hear and you apply these words to your life, that God will make everything all right. Even while, even while danger, even while trouble, amen, is still going on. God will give you peace in the midst of the storm. Amen. God is like when, when you in a, 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 we have bad, uh, what, uh, uh, storms and we have, uh, um, uh, bad weather storms and, and we know that it's lightning and we know that it's raining and hey, we know that it's thundering and we run into the house for safety and that's what God is saying let him be your shelter amen run to Jesus for safety amen we can't stop trouble from coming we can't stop things from happening in our lives hallelujah but we have a comforter which is god amen we have a man amen which is jesus christ he will give us peace in the midst of the storm amen he will grace you with his love he will give you love amen when you feel as if your mother has forsaken you you feel as your father has forsaken you. You feel as your, your husband or your wife or your sister or your brother. You feel that your, your, your neighbor, whoever, your best friend has forsaken you. But God said, I'll never leave you. I will comfort you. I will be with you even until the end of the world. Hallelujah. I speak the grace of God be upon your life. Even in the midst of the time of trouble. The Bible says he's a present help. Psalm 46 say he's a present help in trouble. Hallelujah. He will be with you. All you got to do is open up your mouth and say, God, come into my trouble. Come into the midst of my home. My marriage is not doing right. Come into the midst. Come into my heart, God. Come into my mind. Come, Jesus. Give him an open invitation and let him know that he's welcome to, to handle whatever situation you're going through. Let him know that he's welcome to, to make your body whole, to make your mind whole, to make your spirit whole. Let him know that he's welcome to do so. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And whosoever let me in, I shall come in. And I don't know my see. I shall come in and sup with you. In other words, he said, I'll come in and abide with you. 
I'll live with you, in you. And there's nothing too hard for God. Have I suffered persecution? Yes, I have. Have I suffered danger? Yes, I have. Have I suffered trouble? Yes, I have. Have everything um, always worked out for me the way I wanted to do? No, it hasn't. For he is my refuge and he is my help and he is my strength. Have I had everything that I wanted? No, I haven't. Not in the economical or not in the natural sense. But I ask God to come into my life. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs to God. The banks, the car lot, the houses, the land, the people. I don't care if people believe or not. They still belong to God because they were created by the hand of God. They were created by the word of God. Everything belongs to God. Because at the end of the day, that's who we're going to see. Amen. When we go to sleep, when we leave this earth, that we go back to our creator. Whether you believe it, whether I believe it, whether the neighbors believe it, no, no matter who believe or don't believe, we're all going to return back to God. And we're going to be judged according to the deeds that we have done in this life. Amen. Somebody said, God will judge me. I don't need nobody to judge me. Sometimes that's a dangerous statement. Amen. Because if you know that your life is not aligned the way it should be, it's a dangerous spectrum thing to say, God will judge me. Amen. Judge yourself. Judge yourself. Therefore, no man will judge you. But judge yourself. Am I living the way God will help me to live? The majority of us, especially the African American, we know, we know, we know, we know. Because we, were, our grandmothers taught us. Our aunties taught us. Our granddaddy taught us. Our, our, our uncles have taught us. Something about Jesus. And there are just, there's just a natural conviction. There's something in us. You know how we would say, something told me. There's something in us will say, Cynthia, you are wrong, or you was wrong, or you said something wrong, or you shouldn't have did that, or should that's God, that's the Holy Spirit, that's God in us. Amen. Align your life, amen, that no man can judge you. The Bible said that the tree, um, amen, that, that we are known by the fruit we bear, the the tree is known by the fruit. Amen. If I say I'm saved, amen, and I'm not uh, doing what is right, I'm producing evil fruit, you have a right to say, listen, you said you were saved, and, and this is what you're doing, and that. You have that right to judge me. You have a right to judge me. Why? Because I'm not judging myself. But when you, when I begin to judge me and say, oh, Cynthia, you shouldn't have did this. Or, oh, Cynthia, you shouldn't have did that. I'm judging myself and then I'm getting myself together. But if I never judge myself and I continue to go on and do well in the sight of God and in the sight of man, you have every right to judge me. We walk, we live in error. We we speak in error. We our lives are in error. Amen. Because we don't know the truth. And we begin to say what the next person say and what the next person say. Why? Because we don't know the truth. Amen. That's why it's so important. Get your Bible. You need a Bible? Write me. The same address that you'll see on the at the end of this broadcast, the post office box. Write me. I'll send you a Bible. I will send you one. Amen. You get into the Bible. Go to church. Stop staying at home. Amen. And go to church. Say, Holy Spirit, lead me to a right church. Lead me to a place that I will learn. Amen. And don't expect for everybody in there to do right. Because we're men. We are flesh. Just like you don't do wrong, the next person to do right. Don't expect for us to do everything right. We as preachers, because we're not going to do everything right. But we're striving. We're working on it. You know, just like if you're a mechanic and you're watching. You're gonna you you're gonna work on that car. You may not find the right uh problem the problem at that moment, but you're gonna work on it. You're gonna work on it until you get it right. And that's the same way we are. 
So don't be discouraged, amen. If you uh, see something that's not going right in the house of God, you be right. You say, God, help me to be right. Because at the end of the day, amen, when Jesus comes, the preacher not going to be there with you. The people in the church is not going to be there. You're going to be there all by yourself, just you and God. There's no way to escape it. Just you and God. Amen. Just you and God. So allow this to be a time of preparation. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. You cannot believe in the Father and don't believe in Jesus. Because if you look at it in the natural sense, you got a father and you got a son. That son comes from the father. So if you, if, like my dad and, and my brother, you can't believe that uh, that's my dad and, and don't believe that that's, that's not his son, which is my brother. You got to believe in the both of them. So he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And if we were not so, I would not have told you. In other words, Jesus said, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. All you got to do is believe. Believe in the Father. Believe in the Son. Believe in the Holy Ghost. Believe. For these three are one. Just believe. Accept the fact that He is God. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to. Whether you accept it or believe it now, you're going to believe it later. You're going to be like, wow, they told me that you were Jesus, that, that Jesus, you were Jesus. They told me that you died for my sins, but I didn't accept you. I didn't believe. You don't want him to say, depart from me. You don't want him to say, go into hell's fire. You don't want that. And I don't want you to have that. I need you to give your life over to Jesus. Amen. That he can give you peace. Even if your trouble's still there, he'll give you peace. He'll give you that assurance that I'm going to work this thing out. Sometimes God will work it out now. And sometimes God will work it out then. Because you have to have faith built in you. You have to have the trust and believe, amen, that God will do it. But he has to allow things to take place. But he'll give you peace in the midst of those things taking place. Amen. All you got to do is say, Jesus, come into my life. You ain't got to bring $100 to be saved. You ain't got to bring a 50 cent to be saved. All you got to do is say, Jesus, come into my life. And ask the power of God to work into your life. And say, Lord, I'm sorry. I am a sinner. Forgive me. You got to acknowledge that you're wrong in order for God to help you. And that's all you got to do. I ain't asking you for a dollar to get saved. All you got to do is open up your mouth. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that he was raised from the dead. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And once you do that, I will send you information. Amen. What do we know about Jesus? Hallelujah. What do we know about Jesus? The Son of the living God. What do we know about Jesus that bore our iniquity? For he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement what came upon him. He received chastisement that you may have peace. So why are you going through all this hell in your mind? The enemy is not what, whether you got money. The problem is not whether you got money or not or whether your husband or your wife acting up. The problem is you won't allow him to give you peace in the midst of it. And it draws you away and it draws you away. You become aggravated. You become irritated. You become frustrated. Why? Because you didn't allow God to get put peace in your mind. But today, 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 today is the opportunity that you said the peace of God. Say peace of God come into my life. Amen to the living God. Listen, I have these brochures and I want to send them to you. Text me your address or send it in the post office box. At the end of the broadcast, say for certain, God of the crisis, free of no charge, never alone and never forsaken, the Holy Spirit, our loving friend. Amen. And also, glory to God. Amen. The Lord has privileged me to be a part of the marriage singles 
uh, enrichment conference. Amen. Host Pastor Apostle Cedric Banks on Saturday, December the 21st, 2013 at 6 p.m. Amen. Located 8031 Time in Detroit. The topic includes how to spot a decoy. Is it love at first sight? And how to hold on together throughout a lifetime. Free of no charge, free food, great fun, great preaching, great fellowship. Come and be blessed. If you have any questions, they will be answered by the way of the Holy Ghost. I want to tell you that I love you. And I pray that just be the blessed, most blessed holiday season. That your harvest will come forth in the name of Jesus. Again, if you want to take your ministry to media or you have a music video to submit, contact this great man of God, Elder Antoine Quayboard Bell, his lovely wife, Sister Yolanda Bell, who are CEO and producers of this great ministry broadcast. Amen. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Amen. If you have a heart for souls, if you have a heart that people's lives will be changed, this is the right place for you to come. BGN TV Gospel. Amen. Bell Global Network TV. Listen. Don't hesitate. Don't be reluctant. Amen. Come and share. Amen. The work of God that's within you to the whole entire world and to the local area of Michigan. Amen. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know, tune in for the best is yet to come. Be blessed. Amen. I seem a little giddy or maybe even strange, but praise is the way I say things. Sometimes I just get so bubbly on the inside. What's going on, y'all? It's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministries, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that includes production, and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at little $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 and make an appointment today. What's going on, y'all? It's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministries, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that includes production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at little $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today.